I am Judy. I am Andrew. I am Ihan. I am Cindy. And I'm Denise. And we are all from the Office of University Communications and we form one of the groups under the Data Literacy Program. So our project was investigating how the audience of NUS News had changed since the announcement of the circuit breaker. The highlight for me was visualising the data, being able to see the trends and correlations, and then telling a story with that data. The challenge for me was cleaning the data and uh, collating it all. Um, it was challenging, but it gave us an opportunity to understand insights that we normally wouldn't all be able to get to. The data literacy program did pose a slight challenge to us because we're from the communications department. We have a wide variety of skills, but not everybody is so well versed in Excel or like data processing. So in the beginning, some of us did find it a bit of a challenge and there was a steep learning curve. But at the end of the day, with all the tutorials and I think the videos helped a lot as well, we managed to pick up a lot of useful skills. So at the end of the day, the challenge was worth it. I actually learned uh, a lot about Excel so from someone who do not know Excel at all. So I pick up the skills and learn through the tutorial with the questions. I actually have to find out how to do it. Yeah, so that's one of the most going. And also learn how to read through those data. Yeah. So with the DLP, I learned how to see if our results were statistically significant with chi-square tests and t-tests and that's a much more quantitative way of seeing it. So there are quite a couple of interesting things that we noticed from doing the project. So I think ultimately visualizing the data really allowed us to kind of hone in on certain anomalies that we spotted, right? So one of them, for example, we discovered a, an exceptionally high performing article and we discovered and retraced it back to the source, which is that it was actually reshared um, on Reddit, which is a platform that we don't normally use, um, but because of that, it actually brought many, many unique users to the site, and so their article performed exceedingly well. And so I guess um, that was one interesting insight for us because that um, allows us to kind of investigate further if Reddit should be a platform or if there are other platforms that we should actually be looking at that affects how well our articles do. I think another interesting thing is that we got to study the correlation or lack thereof between session duration, which is the amount of time that the user spends on an article, versus um, the number of unique users, right? So we discovered that just because an article didn't get many eyeballs, meaning the number of unique users was not a lot, but they could have spent a long time reading the article, which also reflected that the article was interesting and engaging to the reader. So that is also worth looking into. Maybe a particular topic is resonating or how something was written or presented was doing well. So yeah, these are some of the insights that we discovered. We learned a lot from DLP. One of the things we learned is data cleaning. So it helps us um, get rid of a lot of error entries or data entries that are not useful to us. We also learned about um, data visualization. So for data visualization, um, the thing that was really helpful for us was Excel's automated design ideas, which allows us to very quickly and very simply present large amounts of data in a very succinct manner that's user-friendly and uh, easily understood by people who don't have background in data as well. Um, I think we definitely will be able to apply that um, to our work when presenting our data.